early identification of a movement disorder, a movement delay, and getting the child the help that they need through therapy could prevent them from having continued movement problems by the time they get to school. I'm Carrie Sawalski. I'm a physical therapist with Cone Health Rehab Center Pediatrics Unit. Early in your child's development, parents should focus on the development of head and trunk control. So in the first six months of life, parents should offer tummy time, that's putting your baby on their tummy so they can push up and see their environment. And we need to offer that very early, very frequently, maybe in very short bursts because some children are much more tolerant than others. Playing in that position will allow babies to just lift up against gravity. So tummy time is a very key foundational element to all developmental milestones to come. Rolling occurs next and should happen around four to six months. The next big milestone is sitting up independently, so that's exciting when a baby can be placed in the position, and that often is around six to seven months. Babies start to get floor mobility, so often that's crawling on hands and knees, but some babies sort of scoot on their bellies, and that we would hope is occurring by 10 months, but can certainly happen earlier. And then walking often happens around a baby's first birthday. If a parent has a concern that their child is late with a milestone or if those milestones are not happening in the time frame that they would hope, the most important thing to do would be to talk to their pediatrician. Your child's doctor needs to be clued in to what's going on with your baby's development because sometimes in that well child check, they may not be able to see exactly what your baby can do. So mentioning those concerns is vital and you don't want to keep it to yourself. You want to let them know early. Early intervention is key to helping a child with motor delays or any kind of delay achieve the best possible outcome. So we want to identify it as soon as possible. As far as specific time frames, there's lots of resources available for when babies should achieve certain skills, parenting magazines, the American Academy of Pediatrics has great information online about your baby's development and how to facilitate it. So if you're noticing that your baby is consistently delayed or behind, that would be a concern that you can mention to your doctor and there's great professional help out there to give your baby a push or give your child a little move in the right direction. Here at Cone Health, we offer free screens for any area of development. As a physical therapist, I focus on gross motor development. We have occupational therapists who look at fine motor skills, which is typically how children use their hands. And we have speech and language pathologists who help children with their communication. So if a parent has any concern about those, they can either talk to their child's doctor or contact us directly and schedule a free screening. A screen is just a brief interaction with a therapist who can observe their child in a comfortable environment and determine if further evaluation should take place and that's when we seek a referral from the doctor. Or sometimes we're just reassuring parents that their child is doing what they should for their age. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this information was helpful. If you'd like more information, please visit conehealth.com slash pediatric rehab.